Hey everybody, so it's me, Denise. I am a shared Airbnb host and an Airbnb super host. And I'm coming to you today to talk about pictures and why it's important to have good pictures. So I'm coming to you today from my Airbnb room. Uh, currently there's no one in here, so this was a day that I could actually get in to get pictures of the space and it's all clean and and put together thanks to the cleaning lady. So uh, I just wanna to talk to you a bit about why you need good pictures. So I had actually taken pictures before um, using my cell phone and they weren't terrible, but uh, the better pictures I got were from Airbnb. So I'm actually sitting in the room and I'm gonna give you guys a, a tour of it. But um, you need to take really good pictures. Your pictures should be taken in landscape format using your camera if you take them. And then my suggestion also is to have plenty of light. So it's a, it's a really pretty day. Make sure you have the windows open so that all that light can pour in the room and people can see how bright it is, but they can also see parts of the room. So my recommendation is not to take the pictures at night if you can avoid that. Take the pictures during the day. Let people see all of the light that is available in your space. It just makes all the difference, in my opinion. Um, people like bright, sunny spaces. We're attracted to bright, sunny spaces. If you think about things that are attractive to you when you look at them, bright, sunny is where you would um, is where you would look before you looked at um, dark evening, low light, candlelight, and those are really hard to capture with a cell phone, unless you are some type of expert and you know what you're doing. And I can tell you, honestly, honey, I am not. So definitely take good pictures, definitely showcase the space. Um, I don't think people are as interested in the neighborhood, unless your neighborhood has got something different and significant about it. Like if it's this artsy type place, we have a place like that um, here in my area. Oh, actually, we have a couple of places like here in the like that here in the area. So then you would add those things. But if it's not, and it's just like a regular neighborhood, probably don't really need a picture of the trees on your street. You like them, but it's not going to be as significant to someone else. Definitely take a picture of the bed. Um, if it's a sleep number bed or special posturepedic something, go ahead and put that in the description. I uh, think you should have side tables because people need a place to be able to put their things down. Have side tables. Have lamps on either side of the bed that they can turn on and turn off. Uh, have a place that people can put their clothes. Have uh, something that they can um, watch TV if that's something you want. So for the longest time, I didn't have a TV in this room. And it's not in my Airbnb pictures because I did the verified photos with Airbnb. Uh, I have a TV now because I actually had a guest who never came out of the room. And so she never used the TV on the main floor in the basement. And so she's like, oh, I wish I had a TV. So I just added a TV and it gets Netflix and um, Amazon. So someone who doesn't leave the room can still watch TV. So let's talk about, because I mentioned verified photos. Those are the photos that Airbnb takes. So you can actually apply to Airbnb for them to come take pictures for you, which is what I did. I scheduled an appointment and they sent out a professional pro photographer, which I was like, awesome. And he got the best photos. He took them in great light. Um, thankfully, it was a great day. And so he was able to come out and get um, awesome pictures of the space. Really like the picture, the room looks huge. It actually, it's probably because it is. It's a very large space. It's much larger than mine. Um, but he was able to give wonderful pictures of the room. And the nice thing about having Airbnb take your pictures is that then they're verified photos. So Airbnb can actually say, I have been to this space. This is actually what it looks like. So that's the purpose of verified photos that you're not tricking someone into what the space looks like. This is really what it is according to Airbnb. And you can still add additional photos if you want to. Like at the time that they came, my basement had just flooded, so I didn't have any pictures of that. So I've put pictures of the basement up. I still think they're crappy. <laughs> so uh, I really need to try again with better lighting. And I haven't gotten around to it. It's a basement. so But there's a rec space, and that's where the washer and dryer are, and that's where the 
uh, additional uh, living spaces down there. So I don't have a huge, huge amount to say about photos, but some things make a difference. Like in my photos, you cannot see the blackout curtains I've added, and I'll show you those. I added the blackout curtains, uh, curtains again because I had some guests here who were saying the lights come comes in in the morning and wakes them up. And that's real, right? Because you can't get past seeing these when you walk in. You just can't like, hey, sunshine in the morning is coming in this room. So the blackout curtains were a huge deal. And that's one of those things, again, where someone told me. And so it's important to listen to feedback that you get from your guests. If they tell you this is a problem, don't have somebody tell you again. Go ahead and take care of it the first time. And I've said that about things before. If there's a problem, take care of it the first time. Blackout curtains are not this huge expense. And when you think about what you can make from Airbnb, go ahead and put the blackout curtains up and, and help someone out. So there's there's plenty of darkness in this space now. So people who don't want to get up in the morning can sleep in. I also added some sleep masks. <laughs> so if they really can't do it with the blackout curtains, add the sleep mask to knock yourself out. There's plenty of pillows on the bed. Put pillows over your head if you need to. So um, I think that's pretty much it regarding photos. I think it's important to have a desk in the room, which you'll, I'll show you that I have that in my room. But I, I really want to impress upon you, like make your space comfortable according to what you think makes sense and what you would like to see if you were traveling to a space. But do not neglect good pictures. Do not neglect showcasing what's available in the room. Hey, you have a place to sit and that's not on the bed because some people don't like that. You have a place to put your keys down or plug your phone up that's right next to the bed or that's right here at the desk. So those are things that are really simple, but you want to showcase that. And a great way to do that is with really excellent pictures. And that's one of the things that I got from Airbnb was really excellent pictures. And it allows people to see where they're going to be staying. That's important to people. So a picture of the room they're going to be staying in, the bathroom they're going to be using, that's significant. You want to show people that. And I'm going to tell you, my pet peeve is people who take pictures with a toilet seat up. Why are you taking a picture with the toilet seat up? <sighs> Anywho, that's all I have to say about that. Now let's do that long awaited room tour. So this is the bedroom that I rent out on Airbnb. So this is my short term rental. Gotta have elephants all over the house. Definitely had a bedside table. People need to be able to put down keys or books or whatever they're, they've got going on. So queen size bed, place that you can actually put your luggage. And these are blackout curtains. So I didn't have blackout curtains before. So I bought these, I'm like, oh yay, blackout curtains that aren't ugly. They're not blackout, look at that. So, I had to buy the blackout panel. Now they're blackout. There's no sun coming in here now. So that was important. Little artwork. Lots of light. Place to put their clothing. Place to work. TV. This is actually a closet. Oh, I provide robes, iron, ironing board, a little laundry hamper. So when it's time to do laundry, pretty big empty closet. And then here's some extra pillows up here. And there's actually a blanket for this room too. I need to put it back in here. In case people get cold. 
And the room is a suite, so there's a bathroom in here. So pretty much what you expect to see in a bathroom. And obviously that's the tub. And a little notice because women in makeup, honey, women in makeup, ruin a towel. If you want to see a towel ruined, use some makeup. So this is my Airbnb suite.